Now, you were just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname, but Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up, erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. When all this is over, and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it. Each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the Gatherer's Garden. in pictures. <laughs> Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her.
the angel. He's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Delta. Our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. Through Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people. A true utopian. Brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Subject Delta, I, I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here, and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no? And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready! Just... Just let me live!
This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. Must be chopping my heirlooms for kindling even now. I don't I make it. It. <laughs> ah! Heaven's queen of. <laughs> October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Status. 
Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of Substance Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Please speak password to enter. Agnes Day. Granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Please see password to enter. I warned you. <clears throat> when you're down to the life's of pain, where the man says, have you? He's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. Oh, my home. Oh, ah! 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 
your own. I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. Humor, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. <laughs> Only a single volunteer? Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you.
Project Delta? It looks like you've upstaged a fellow demonstrator and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? The tour was never the same without you. And to think, you were so spliced, you couldn't stand when we stuck you into that get-up. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy. Get to work, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> 
Mission. Severance package cancelled. Benefits... Benefits presented. I... I... <laughs> Each new tyrant ventured here in search of Conquest Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Agnes Day. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, uh, now, uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access... ...as to the real laboratories where... ...where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. Oh! <laughs> 